Hai, Assalamualaikum Jom kita revise sambil berehat Sambil berehat pun Kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Welcome back to my channel Jadi jika anda pertama kali datang ke channel ini Selamat datang saya ucapkan tapi jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula ke channel ni, terima kasih kerana sudi kembali. Jadi pada video kali ini, saya nak kongsikan empat contoh soalan daripada chapter 1 berkenaan dengan scalar and vector, resolving vector ataupun yang berkaitan dengan unit vector. Jadi apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Ok now, so proceed to example number 3. So here we have... Uh, two vectors and it's given in terms of unit vector. Kita ada vector P equal to 2i minus 5j meter, qi plus 3j meter. So now we want to calculate the magnitude of resultant. Okay, so dia minta magnitude sahaja. Magnitude of resultant vector of P and Q. Means that we want to find uh, R, serta so R sebagai resultant. So we want to find the resultant. Okay, which is P plus Q. Okay, <clears throat> so before we start, look at this unit vector for P and Q. Macam mana kita nak lukis dalam bentuk Cartesian coordinate? Okay, so for P, kita start dengan P dulu. So let's say this is the Y axis and this is the X axis. Okay, very small. Okay, so now... Uh, 2i so means that i for the x axis so let's say 2 here and let's say negative 5 so negative that's mean negative y axis so let's say here okay so let's say the point p so in this direction so kita label lah so vector p at angle berapa kita tak tahu Okay, kita boleh kira nanti tapi soalan tak minta kita tak perlu kira lagi. Okay, and untuk Q in the Cartesian coordinate and untuk Q kalau kita lukis for the Y component and X component. Okay, so 1I, so let's say, let's change the color. So 1 here and Y3. Okay, ha, macam itulah lebih kurang. So here. Okay, so Q is here. Okay. So now let's write R. So resultant R is equal to P plus Q. Okay. And let's write the unit vector for P to I minus 5J plus Q is I plus 3J. Okay, so kita tambahkanlah I dengan I, J dengan J. So, we will get 3I okay, minus 2J. Okay, and the unit is meter. Okay, so therefore, the magnitude of resultant vector of P and Q is equal to square root 3 squared plus negative 2 squared. And the answer is equal to 3.61 meter. Okay, so soalan minta uh, magnitude saja, So, kita hanya bagi nilai sajalah. Okay. So, this is the first part. And how about the second part? So, we want to find S which is, okay, vector S which is P plus 2Q. Okay, so the question uh, ask you to find in terms of unit vectors. Okay, so this is very easy. Okay, so in terms of unit vector, so let's substitute unit vector for P is 2i minus 5j plus 2 and vector for Q is i plus 3j. Okay, so let's try to solve. So it's equal to 2i minus 5j plus 2i plus 6j. Okay. So, vector S is equal to 4i. So, this one I will put bracket. 
okay, 4i plus j. Okay, so this is the answer in terms of unit vectors, right? So finish example number 3. Okay, now this is the last example. So we have two vectors here which are forces. Okay, daripada soalan kita nampak this is 20 newton and this is 10 newton. So write the resultant vector of A and B in terms of unit vector. Okay, but before we start, I want to redraw this diagram. Kenapa saya nak redraw? So let's try to draw again. So this is y axis and this is x axis. Okay, so look at the vector. So this is the tail. I will use another color. So this is the tail and this is the head of the vector. So on this y and x axis, so start your vector okay, from here. Okay, since this is the starting point, so make sure the tail of the vector start from here. Okay, sepatutnya dia macam ni kan? Okay, 30 degree. Tapi saya nak pindahkan this arrow, this vector, okay, in this direction. So, dia punya tail of the vector ataupun tail of the arrow start at the center. Okay, so saya akan gerakkan macam ini. So now this is my vector A. So since this angle is 30 degree, means that this angle also 30 degree. Nampak ya? And the second one, so here we have B. So start from the tail of the vector and the direction is horizontally. Okay? In X component, so we have B. So B is 10 Newton while A is equal to, kita tulis balik kat sini. So, A is equal to 20 Newton. Okay. So, now we need to resolve for A, right? Since A are the angle. So, let's try to resolve for vector A. Okay. So, kita ada AY, which is the direction is downward. And we have AX, which is the direction is to the left. So, negative A is 20. So, the angle is here. Okay. So, the angle is 30 degree. So, negative 20 cos 30 degree. AX yang duduk sebelah angle kan. So, kita akan dapat berapa tu? Okay. Negative 17.32. Negative 17.32 Newton for AX. And for AY also negative 20. But this time sine 30 degree. So, it's negative 20. 10 Newton. Okay? Dan untuk X tak perlu resolve lah because dia tak ada angle. Okay? Only in X component. So, we can write BX is equal to positive 10 Newton. Okay? So, now we can write the unit vector for A. Okay? So, let's say I write in terms of unit vector. So, it will equal to negative 17.32I Plus, since this is negative, so negative 10. Okay, negative 10J. While for B, it's equal to 10I only. Okay, so the unit, make sure the unit is in Newton. Okay, so therefore, R, the resultant, is equal to A plus B. So, we can just really substitute the unit vector for A which is negative 17.32i minus 10j plus 10i. Okay. So, the answer, the final answer should be negative 7.32i minus 10j. And the unit must be Newton. Okay. So, this is the resultant vector of A and B. In terms of unit vector. Okay. So finish all examples. So thank you for watching. And make sure you do all the examples in your book. Okay. Semoga kita jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. Jumpa lagi.